Now that you've learned how to move and position components, let's talk about strategies that you can use to mount these motors onto the platform. You'll see on the motors, on the real motors and in the model, that you got two holes that you can use for screws. So let's try to design a platform that attaches, that attaches to the bottom platform that we can mount the motors to. Let's start by turning off the right wheel assembly and let's look at it from the front view. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a plane from this one here. We're going to go to construct offset plane. We're going to select this face here and let's just move it two millimeters over. So let's type in two and you'll see the plane moves over just a little tiny bit and let's hit OK. Let's go back to our front view. And now let's create a sketch. Let's go to sketch and we're going to create a sketch on this new plane that we made. So we got these holes that we want to line it up to. Um, to make it easier, let's project the circles for the holes onto this new plane that we're designing on. Let's go to sketch, go to project, and project. And we're going to select the circle for this hole. And you'll see that it turns purple. And the center of it also shows up. And let's do it for the other one as well. So we'll select this. And let's hit OK. So let's design some kind of rectangle to give us a place where to mount the motors to, the screws to. Let's go to sketch. Let's go to rectangle and let's try center rectangle. And let's make a rectangle that encompasses the circle and a little bit more. Let's maybe make it six by six millimeters. So we'll put in six, hit tab, hit six, and hit enter. So now what we should try to do is extend this square down to where the platform is. So let's go to sketch, let's go to line, and let's select the corner of this, uh, the square and drag it all the way down to the platform. One thing to make sure is that the angle you're dragging at is 90 degrees to make sure that the line is straight. Um, in order to guarantee that, if you hit tab, you can tab over to where right now it says 88.2. You can type in 90 and hit tab and you'll see that a lock appears and that, that means you can't change the angle of the line. So we're going to snap to the point. You'll see it turn into an X and let's click and let's do the same thing. Let's hit escape. Let's hit L again. Let's do the same thing with the other side. Take this, drag it down. We'll make sure that the line that the line is at 90 degrees and it is. Um, click and let's connect the two points and let's hit stop sketch. And then if you change the angle a little bit, you'll see now that you have a rectangle that's a little bit off of the, uh, the plane. So let's select the faces. So let's select this, hold shift select the other part as well, but we don't want to select the circles because we're going to have a screw going through the circles. So let's hit the extrude hotkey, which is E, and let's extrude this. Let's go three millimeters and we're going to hit OK. So now what you should see is the motors are perfectly lined up with the, the holes where we're going to be screwing it down and it's attached to the platform. Let's turn off the left wheel assembly. And one thing we should think about is after we 3D print this, since it's such a thin base and it's a little bit taller, um, it might be a bit weak over here, especially if we put any kind of pressure on the motors or let's say we crash into a wall. Um, so let's try to reinforce the bottom part to make it a little bit stronger to do that we're going to add a fillet. Let's go to modify. Let's select fillet. Um, actually, let's back up. Let's hit cancel. Let's select three of the faces on the bottom. We're going to select this line. 
Um, hit control, select this line. Let's rotate our view and let's select this line. And we want to fill it all three of those sides. So let's go to modify, fill it. And then for the size of the fillet, we're going to try something like 1.5. Um, let's try something a little bit smaller because we maybe don't want to interfere with the with the hole itself. So let's try 1.2. Um, 1.2, 1, 1 again, might be a little bit too big. Let's try 0 0.8, and I think that sh that's a little bit, that's a, that should work. So let's try that, and let's hit OK. Um, so we can turn on the, lo uh, the left wheel assembly, and now we have the mount to which to attach our motor to.